welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new dacia duster extreme version and in this video i will make the full review interior exterior everything about this new duster you will find out in this video also guys before we go forward I want to tell you that I'm here in Switzerland at Gallicker Garage. I will leave the link in the description. If you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car, check them out, guys. The link will be in the description. Also, before we go forward, I want to give you some technical data and information about the car. As I said before, we have the Extreme version. The Extreme version, it's built on Prestige, Prestige version. And Extreme mean that it added some kind of elements here and there orange elements and on the exterior on the interior i will show you all of this and they make the car more powerful more uh, sporty and it looks a little bit better to be honest the car come with 1.3 liter petrol engine tci 150 horsepower four wheel drive that's a great thing it comes also with a manual transmission six speed but more about that in a second the basis price the starting price of this duster 24,990 francs with all these optionals right here guys it has also some some extra options like metallic color that you have to pay for 650 and it has also the spare tire 150 francs extra that you have to pay for the spare tire and the total price will go up to 25,790 francs it's an incredible price for an suv if you ask me it's really really good price i don't know what other suv from other company with what this duster offer you can buy in this price and that's why this uh, Dacia Duster is one of my favorite uh, SUV on the market today. More technical data you can see right here. The weight of the car 1,464 kilograms, 6.9 liter estimated consumption, 157 CO2 grams. It's in D class, efficient class, just to make an idea. Now, let me go a little bit deeper with the details and let me tell you that this engine 1.3 liter petrol engine come with four cylinders in line. The top speed of the car 198 km per hour. It's connected with a six speed manual transmission. The trunk space 445 liters. And if you fall down the seats completely, you will have 1623 liters fuel tank capacity 50 liters also very important is that the car come with ventilated brake this on the front and drum brakes on the rear it comes with 17 inch rims that looks quite nice and the car come with mcpherson independent suspension in the front and multi-link independent suspension on the rear so check out the test drive video guys if you want to find out how is the car on the road i have a separate video you can subscribe to the channel to see the notification when that video will come out it is not already on the channel now those are the most important information let's review the car and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's start with the key as always the same key as dacia use it also on other cars what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car also the car come with keyless entrance that means if you go farther away from the car it will lock automatically and if you come closer you don't need to press any button because the car will unlock for you you can see right now this is really cool also you can turn on the lights from here if you press it once you will turn on the lights completely so i don't know if you can see it right now they are on and right now they are off so you can see those new LED lights from Dacia, the daylights, the high beam, the low beam, they are super, super cool. Actually the high beam, if I'm not wrong, it is normal halogen light and the daylight uh, running LED, it's LED. And also the normal low beam, it's LED light. So anyway, I'll show you also a little bit later. The other thing that you can do, you can unlock the trunk. It doesn't come with automatic lift gate in the trunk, but you can unlock it and lock it uh, if you want to do that separately now before we go forward i want to talk a little bit about the doors quality so you can hear the door quality i feel a little bit of improvement here and i also hear it you can hear how it sounds when you close the door very good quality great great quality i like them very much and also you can see they add some extra rubber here and you have this here and even down here uh, that's why maybe the sound it's even better right now so good quality i was really impressed when i see that in terms of exterior design you can see this gray color look just fabulous on the car i like so so much this color and i like the contrast very much the black with this gray with a little bit of orange here and there uh, make the car to stand out i mean 
it looks much better, much powerful, much more sportier. And I will definitely go with this extreme version, I should say, or extra level. It looks super, super nice, even from the distance. I think duster, more the years pass, the better it looks. And it will look even better with the new uh, logo from Dacia. And uh, I'm really excited to see it in the future, uh, the next generation, if they will come out with another generation but overall it's it's super super nice so totally this extreme pack uh, deserve to get it because it looks much much nicer and to be honest doesn't add anything uh, extra to the price of the car here on the roof you have those roof rails great roof rails very useful and you can see this the first changes here where you said duster you can see these orange elements right there the radio antenna is the same up there the roof spoiler look also quite nice you can see the gray on the upper side and then you can see some black mat in this area that make it looks sporty it make it looks nicer if it was a little bit more extended it was even even better but quite nice we have tinted windows on the rear and also on the side of the car wiper here in the back overall uh, you can see even here between the pillow they make it black so you can see a matte black here uh, then you have here the tank by the way 50 liter tank I, I have to open it from the interior and yeah let me open it let me show you how it looks there oh down here you have the button the, the level to pull it actually and here we are this is the tank right here it's pretty simple just want to show you the way it looks the handles are also in gray the same color as the car so they look quite nice then the mirrors cap you can see it's in black and it has this orange uh, on the side right here big mirror good visibility also you have blind spot technology here in the corner great 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 in my opinion super super useful and great technology in the same price here we have a camera because the car come with 360 degrees camera it has camera on both mirrors camera in the front camera on the rear so <laughs> only super premium high class car usually come with 360 degrees camera but this Dacia Duster in the same price uh, price come with the camera come with blind spot technology wow it's super impressive here you can see the four-wheel drive the letter here so you know this is a four-wheel drive the blinker is down here it's not on the mirror a normal bulb halogen light then you have this black uh, protection down here also on the down skirt that make it look nice and also protect the down part of the car so you will not see rust in time so this car will last for many many years because it will be protected in this area so you don't have to worry about the rust and also look quite nice if you look down there if you look at those 17 inch rims look super nice in glossy uh, black I mean this combination look look nice you can see even the hood has some nice lines here beautiful lines beautiful shape on this gray color you can see it even better I don't know if you can see it so well but uh, it looks nice here in the middle this is the grill some chrome design some uh, orange insertion again here and there here's the Dacia logo and down here we have the camera the front camera for 360 degrees camera I will show you when we go inside this is the lights here guys up here is the turning signal LED light the daylight are also running on the boat uh, lines when you close the turning signals LED light here this is the low beam the high beam it's halogen light they look nice big improvement from the previous generation and they are really useful in the nighttime now the halogen light down here are normal a bulb light no LED but this is the front the front is very similar some gray part some air intakes a grill down here and we have also some protection rubber for the wheels there and for the brakes and all that when you go off-road so yeah overall pretty nice car here we have also led lights on the tail lights here are led those are normal halogen light the brake light as well and you can see them also from the distance a little bit so this is it down here we have a reverse camera we have led lights on the number plate this is another cool thing and we have another change here in the back with orange writing duster in the back look nice this is also a new change to the car added on this extreme we have on the rear six 
parking sensors. Also here is the halogen light, the fog lamps. It's also a normal uh, halogen light. And then down here we have some gray. We have some air diffuser, kind of an air diffuser, plastic design. And here is the exhaust pipe on the uh, left side. Now, if you look under the car, you can see what is there. And then if you go inside the car, I don't know if you see my, my last videos, guys, my previous video with Dacia Duster, the spare tire was under the car. And on this model, if I'm not wrong, it is right here. 150 francs extra for the spare tire inside here. If you don't need it, you can take it out completely and you can put whatever things you want here. But I was more of a fan without a spare tire. I don't know, if you're in Europe, usually you should go without it because you have the insurance and all that stuff and also i see on the other duster that i review that the spare tire was under the car so you can check out that review as well anyway we will go inside in a second and i will explain you and i will show you also uh, the other things but overall this is the exterior design 17 inch rims beautiful rims in glossy plastic drum brakes on the rear those are the drum brakes here in the back and in the front we have ventilated brake this guys in the front so you can see also from close up they look quite nice they fit really really nice with the car and in the front i forget to tell you that we have also six parking sensors here is the first one let me stop the engine i want to show you also the the engine bay actually let me stop it completely and also the turning signals and from down here you open also the hood close the door also they sound quite nice the doors sound really good open up the hood here in the front if i'm not wrong it's around here wow wow i didn't expect that we have an automatic lift gate in the front i was expect to be a manual one wow i mean in this price automatic lift gate it's incredible great job Tatia. really great job here you have a protection this is the engine 1.3 liter 150 horsepower 250 newton meters four cylinders in line here's the battery 12 volt air filter fuse box liquid cooling yeah and this is the engine where is the wiper ah, the wiper liquid is up there so just as an information wow I, I'm, I'm really impressed to see that it's crazy I mean automatic lift gate in the front in this price wow great job open the trunk manual lift gate on the rear here also you have some handles up here to close it you have this protection for the trunk that you can get it out and actually i will get it out um, to show you how it looks with the seat folding down it looks nice it's, it's quite okay this protection also i like that you have a flat floor down here and as you see before under the floor here guys it's the spare tire and some storage space on the left and right side where you can put different things you can also take it out if you want to but this is optional you don't have to get it it's, it's just an optional on the car anyway let me take this out and then we will see how much space we have in the back there this is the entrance huge entrance the practicality in this duster it's it's crazy good i mean you can fit in here a lot of stuff you have such a big entrance in the trunk you have a flat floor here i like that uh, that's a flat floor so that means you can uh, fit inside here a lot of things also on the left side here you have a light a normal halogen light some hooks you have also this safety pack and some storage space down there to put different things hooks in the corners i should say there uh, and also you have a 12 volt port here very very useful under the floor you already see it uh, you can also take this out if you want to uh, because here you have a lot a lot of space and if i'm not wrong even in the front there you have some extra storage space around the wheel where you can put different um, different things guys so anyway very useful now if you want to fold down the seats you have to go in the front there um, so you have to go here on the side and then from here you can fold it down you have here just like that super simple and then you fold it down this usually should stay down like this but who was before here they didn't uh, they didn't array it so well so i will do it right now so pull this level down and then 
it's all the way down. And now this one should stay like that. Very nice, very clean. And look at this, the way it looks. Right now it looks quite nice. It's quite a kind of a, almost a flat floor. If you put the headrest a little bit forward, just like that, you have almost a flat floor here. And yeah, the quality is not that bad. You still have some storage space on the legs room. The transmission tunnel is also not that big. And overall, this is it. Let me show you also from the back here, the way it looks, the entrance. You can fit in here big items without any problem, like even fridges, washing machine, it can be here because it's quite tall, it's a lot of space here and it's almost a flat floor there. If you look from here, you have almost a flat floor. So this is it. Also, if you look from this angle, from the side, the entrance in the car, it's relatively big and um, also you can see from here yeah this is it this is it guys so anyway let me put everything back and then we will go inside all right going forward here on the doors in the back we have one piece big window also yes look at this you can fold it almost all the way down it's left only three centimeters maybe, but it's really, really useful like that. Anyway, I think the windows are locked from the front, so you can uh, use it only from here. Let me close, stop the engine. Let me close the door. Good. Other than that, the design of the door, it's relatively fine, but the quality, keep in mind that everywhere it's uh, plastic but the design it's quite nice and you don't even notice if you're not going closer uh, or touch it you don't notice that it's plastic so handle handle it's also nice you have a speaker here and you have also a lot of space uh, in the door bands to put different things going inside the car relatively big entrance and also from here you can see how much space you have i like the fact that you have a white that make the car much brighter inside white uh, roof uh, that make the car much brighter inside so uh, the seat quality we have leather in combination with stuff material in the middle here uh, leather also on the side you can see the yellow stitches that looks also nice the headrest right here uh, the good quality I mean the way they feel when you touch them you immediately feel that this is a good quality and they will last for for many years for sure and also i like the fact that in the middle they somehow make it flat this area so that the third person can stay in the middle also here in the back you don't have an armrest but you have a headrest and that means they wanna give more quality more comfort for a third person there in the middle so this is great great idea iso fix you can install two child seats here in the back behind the front seat you have leather some storage space here transmission tunnel is relatively small also you have two usb two ports here in the back no vents but it looks much better now i like that uh, very much the way it looks much more modern than before going inside the car very easy right now let me close the door now the sound insulation is also improved i talk about that in the test drive video more head space no problem for me 173 centimeter by the way leg space perfect leg space i can even play and stretch my legs in the front under the front seat there without any problem and the front seats are in my driving position here and this one is i think a little bit more uh behind but overall pff, no problem in terms of space i have a lot of space the roof quality is not that great but it's okay it's fine it's not so important i like very much that the roof is white and that means make much more brighter inside the car here is a normal uh, light so it can illuminate in the nighttime and also here we have some handles uh, and the visibility in terms of visibility guys it's okay it's just fine you have a great visibility in this area uh, you have another window in the back there so overall good visibility the comfort is also nice nothing to say about the car uh, the only thing that i wish was different is down here to be a little bit more softer but other than that it's quite good going in the middle it's very easy because the transmission tunnel is very small you can stay also with your legs together like that if you want to and also you have a headrest here in the back so the space no problem you can see right here 
maybe five, six fingers here without any problem. Uh, also stretch my hand completely, stretch my hand completely. Three person here can sit without problem. And even though the way they make this flat and the way they make this flat in the back here, uh, it makes it super comfortable. I feel like I have my own seat. It's one of the most comfortable seats uh, in the middle. And this come in the car at this price, it's, it's impressive what they did uh, with this duster. It's, it's really, really impressive. So now going forward, we will go in the front. We will talk about the changes in the front there. You can see uh, those stitches, guys, in this orange color. It's the difference, the big difference in the car. And also some orange elements there on the, uh, on the handle of the door. Other than that, the dashboard design is very similar. It's simple um, and practical, I should say. Let's go in the front. Anyway. Guys, before I go in the front, I want to show you something. Look at this. They put a lot of rubber here. You can hear that when you close the door. Great quality. I mean, they sound really, really much, much better than before. I was really impressed to see that. Anyway, let's go in the front. Here is the door. This time it's different. It's not the same as in the, in the back. We have a big window from one piece. Great visibility in the mirrors. Then, up here we have plastic everywhere on the upper side is plastic but here guys here all this area here it's leather and soft material here it's leather and soft material you can see the stitches here on the leather uh, the buttons for the windows lock the windows handle handle here we have some uh, orange insertion huge door bands you can put a lot of things so practicality it's great here and then you have another speaker right here big entrance also in the front here you can see also the pedals, normal pedals. We can see here in the middle some orange insertion again uh, on the car. Uh, manual adjustable seat. So here we don't have electric adjustable seat, but we have heated seat. So uh, if I'm not wrong, this is the button for uh, heating seat. So you can activate it from here. Other than that, manual adjustable seats. The seats look great. I think those are the best seats in a Dacia Duster that I, that I ever seen and they have a great combination between leather and stuff material so you have leather on the side leather here we have stuff stuff material here leather in the front again duster insertion here beautiful it looks really nice and also the same nice look also those stitches here those orange stitches even the headrest it's a little bit different if you look closer great job Dacia great job down here we have the position of the light so you can choose from here the position here you have the fuse box here we have the, the, the button for blind spot technology, you can turn it off and on. Here you can adjust electrically the mirrors. And here we have those vents, also orange insertion in the vents. Super nice vents, super easy to use and turn. Uh, the quality, it's okay. It's not the best, but it's fine. And I notice when I, I, when I make the test drive that the climatic system works very, very well in combination with those hair vents. Now let me go inside the car, close the door. Let me go even back a little bit, just like that. Visibility around the windows is just perfect. I mean, big mirrors, uh, big windows, even in the front here, great visibility, even here up. You can see the visibility in the back, it's perfect. Around the windows, perfect visibility, nothing to say. In terms of visibility, it's, it's lovely. In terms of practicality, actually, this duster, it's, it's incredible good. Here you have even an armrest in leather. You can also open it up. Let me show you just like that. And you can put different things here. It's not a huge space, but it's relatively useful. And also this armrest, it's very, very useful for me. At least you can also put it in the front, in the back, just like that. Lovely, 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 very practical. Handbrake, manual handbrake in combination with manual transmission. It's, a, it's, it's something normal and it's okay. Here we have two cup holders. You can put the key here. You can lock the two wheel drive. You can put it on auto or lock on and off. Then going forward here in the middle, everything is made by plastic, but it doesn't matter. You don't ever touch these faces here. Now, another cool thing that I like very much, this is the transmission stock uh, and you have six speed reverse as well. Now, if I turn on the car, let me go in the front a little bit, just like that. If I turn on the car, I want to show you something, guys. By the way, turning the car, you can see that the engine, it's crazy silent. Even though the climatic system is on first level, 
it's really really silent so wow really good engine now here you can see it show it show you here what are the gears if you go in reverse you have to pull from down here and go in reverse just in forward and then you can see the 360 degrees camera i was super impressed to see the quality of those cameras very good quality even on the front even on the rear even on the side you can see side side left right this is uh, forward and also uh, backward the quality was super super uh, impressive i was like wow when i see it first time i was really really impressed so great job from the point of view of cameras uh, they did a great job other than that the stalk the way it go in, in gears look at this look how easy you go i mean it's so smooth so nice even a beginner can can do that it's, it's really really easy and that's another another good thing that i like about the car going forward here a lot of storage space for different stuff you have usb 2 two ports here you have a 12 volt port another useful thing here is the climatic system one of my favorite i love how easy it is to, to turn on turn off change different functions uh, it's incredible easy and it's one of the best in my opinion one of the best climatic system physical button down here uh, super easy super compact and i like it i like it very much and even this quality when you turn those wheels are really good up here you have the downhill assist then you have turn uh, on and off the engine echo mode you have echo mode you can put it in echo mode or normal mode so you have two different driving modes lock uh, parking sensors this is the 360 degrees camera if you press it it will show you all the camera so you can change it from here and then you have the traction control button right here so super useful super simple dashboard everything is made by plastic on the upper side but practicality it's great because you have a space here where you can put different stuff uh, then you have also a space some kind of space here i think you can put your phone right here in this area if you want to put your phone like that you can put it like that for example it's perfectly positioned right there i don't know for a few things i don't know what you can use it maybe for navigation uh, but it's great anyway down here is the glow box glow box it's also big really big really deep i like it i like also the glow box it's nice then uh, you have this new multimedia system where it says duster here uh, multimedia system it's also simple this is the home button shortcut buttons here this is the settings uh, of the car and then volume and close and open then here you have the radio i think you already know but let me stop that uh, this is the radio then you have the media here no device connected the phone the telephone you can connect it to bluetooth you have the vehicle right here vehicle settings where you can change the example for example the door lock the, the hand key function uh, walk away close doors and stuff like that um, yeah that's those are quite simple then you have the driving echo here it give you some tips about the car about the acceleration about the trip about how you should drive uh, the car and what was the consumption trip report on the last kilometers then you have the echo scoring here how much economical did you drive and echo coaching and give you also some tips on how to drive economical four-wheel drive give you information about the car even when you go off-road so that's a great thing and also here you can see more information so very useful uh, for the people that go off-road navigation system the new navigation system it works much better than before and it's super simple to use and fast uh, it's not as good as you find it on other competitors with a bigger price but it's relatively more than enough you can press ok here and it shows you the route really fast so overall uh, a great option and it's good to have here but if you don't like that if you don't want to use for example this navigation from the duster you go here smartphone integration you connect your android phone or apple phone and it's just simple press it here go connect it uh, right now i didn't have it connected but i have a separate video on how to connect your android phone to the car so if you want to see that check it out guys then another thing guys go to settings here and here we have all the settings for example audio settings display settings um, device settings and system settings where you can change the language uh, factory settings and stuff like that the, the watch the clock 
uh, device here you can have all the devices in brightness and day and night mode it's very simple multimedia and it's a good multimedia system in my opinion now on the upper side you already see those vents here they look super cool also they have this orange uh, appealing color on them so yeah relatively cool also the mirror it's nice up here uh, we have some normal bulb light up here of course and then we have the mirror this is a big mirror relatively big and nice you don't have a light here but you have those microphones on the upper side so overall this is the car guys i think i show you almost everything the cockpit by the way uh, it's a simple one it's the same cockpit as you find it on other models and you have a lot of information in the middle there for example you can see the settings of the car the tire pressure the temperature and here's the speed and the average consumption the distance and the range that the car still have it so other than that you have the speed and the rpm the steering wheel you can adjust it manually uh, down up forward backward in every position you want super simple uh, the steering wheel it's also normal uh, normal grip uh, it's a good quality leather steering wheel and it's very light check out the test drive to see how light it is here you have the controllers for the cruise control for example kind of a cruise control yes and here are the controllers for the uh, screen there the voice command as well and behind here you have the controller for the uh, multimedia and the sound and source and stuff like that so relatively cool features uh, on the car so guys that was the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get some useful information from it if you still have question ask me down below whatever question you have if you want to see the test drive check out it's already on the channel other than that if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check out gallicar garage in Bern. i will leave the link in the description so if, if you want to buy the car see the car check them out guys don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel i will really appreciate that if you want to see the newest cars that will come on the market also guys my rating for this dacia duster extreme from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. it's a great car anyway that was the video stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys